Hey guys, welcome to It's RJ TV. Uh, today I'm going over the Rookie Tournament. Unfortunately, this is my account that I usually use on Pro, but I got relegated back to Rookie due to not playing, so I am using like an Extra Mile 5 and a Guardian 4, uh, just to kind of give you an example. Another thing that I'm doing is Marlin Ball only because I know a lot of people who play rookie don't have the gems or the money to get special balls. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, now you wanna aim your ball right in that little area there. Now with a five mile an hour wind, um, you know, I'm gonna be pushed a little more to the left to counteract, but I wanna land right in that area where the clear ring is. And you want to go full top spin, full right spin, and even with a club such as the extra mile seven, you don't want to go full curl. And this is why, unless you move, unless you land a little more to the left, we aren't able to roll out. So that lowers our possibility of a chip in to win. And then on our second shot, I do have the razor, which doesn't have great distance, but it does have excellent accuracy. And if you do end up in the sand or you do end up, you know, as long as you get that first initial bounce, you'll be able to make it on the green in too. But getting it in the hole is a whole nother story. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, so obviously we got that putt. Now here, I feel like I set the shot up right, but I needed just a little bit more spin. We're at max distance of the Saturn. I recommend going with the backbone here. I didn't really change out my clubs like I should have, um, but yes, we are going with a less accurate club, and this could potentially be a hole-in-one. Now, there's only two or three times when I use the ring adjustments, just because it's it's a habit, but I tried not using the ring adjustments when I could remember. So, we're going to take the shot and hit it perfectly. I like our landing position, but a little too much backspin. Uh, and ob obviously it rolled a little bit off to the right. Uh, so obviously we got the putt. Now for this shot here, with the wind that we have, just make sure you go full top spin, full right spin, full right curl. You don't even need to overpower it because the wind is in our favor, but because it's blowing kind of to the right-ish, make sure that the ball is landing where it needs to, even with a great shot here and the tiniest bit of overpower we were able to make it over and stay away from the rough on the left-hand side. If you do not use uh, left spin and left, I'm sorry, right spin and right curl, you're in danger of, uh, of messing up there. Now, I was scared here that I would have to use a different club, but I don't know why it set me up at around medium distance. So a 2.7 mile an hour wind is not much. Um, I, I didn't really use the rings there. I just kind of backed it up. I mean, I guess you can kind of say maybe subconsciously I did. But anyway, uh, I'm not overly happy with this shot. We kind of get stuck at the top. Uh, if I had a higher level Saturn, it would have rolled back down. But we are still able to hit the putt. The only reason why I'm showing the putt is two reasons. One, look how hard it is. I don't want to hit it too hard because I don't want it to skip over the hole. So I'm looking for a spot. And it, like we had some that funneled to the hole. This is the opposite. And I'm so scared taking the shot that I'm actually going to miss. I'm going to hit perfect and roll over. Luckily, that doesn't happen. We are able to save the eagle. So on to the next hole here. Um, you know, I, I really like playing this with a lot of uh, backspin. But, you know, just for the case, just because not everyone's going to have these type of clubs. Uh, I only use like two backspin. And, uh, you know, we're going over water, so you need to adjust an extra 10% uh, of what you normally would do, which, you know, you kind of see what I just did there, which was actually a little more than 10, well, quite a bit more than 10%, but, you know, hindsight, right? <laughs> uh, it works out okay, though, um, nice and close, and obviously from here, it's an easy putt. Now, here I went with the extra mile. I kind of wish I would have used full not full, but some left curl, but I was afraid of getting hung up in the trees. So basically, you just want to make sure with the wind, you know, with a great ball and everything, you don't hit it to where it's going to land in the rough or hit a tree and be stuck behind a tree. Um, 
you want to be as far up as possible, but also you want to be as close to the rough on the left as you're comfortable going. And I could have gotten a lot closer. I didn't expect it to kick out this far, which is going to make our second shot a little bit harder. This hole, you definitely want to bring the big dog, which you'll see I did bring. And also, if you are going to use a special ball, I would say a katana or a, um, you know, even a, a navigator would be helpful here. Because even with the full top spin here, um, look at where we're hitting the rough. It's going to have to roll a lot. So it's going to be hard to get up on the green unless we overpower. And I would rather have the... Um, accuracy on such a sloppy club so look we, we go right in there and just barely come out that was very very lucky shot and then uh, we are able to clean it up with the firefly if you don't have the firefly the dart will work or the skewer depending on what you have um, but with the firefly it's a very inaccurate club so you, you are stuck pretty much hitting it perfect most of the time uh, you know for it to be able to go in and we get the cleanup. Okay, and on to the next hole. Is that an oil rig back there? I used to always like to go to the left, you know, because if you go to the left and you go into the rough, you're, you can still reach. Now, after the last tournament, not after a redesign, I like going to the right. There's a big enough fairway that even if you hit it great, you should be okay. As you've seen, I put one bar of backspin on just to play it safe because I didn't want to roll too far forward. That was not needed. Actually, one bar of topspin probably wouldn't have hurt too, and we would have had a better angle. So I'm going to have to use that uh, level one uh, side spin here. Uh, but I believe I actually end up taking it off as I move it up just a little bit closer. But not much room for error here. And, you know, when adjusting for the wind, that looked about good right where I had it, uh, you know, after an adjustment. But uh, unfortunately, here we go. I forgot and used the ring method. However, I don't know what the rings are on these lower level clubs, I'm guessing. So if that's of any consolation. <laughs> it's still kind of not using the rings. I did hit it great, but it is a great proofed shot. And the Guardian is the club to use, in my opinion, on this particular hole. Uh, for us lower level, uh, you know, um, players or club club level players. Now here is another hole where I would definitely say you've got to bring the big dog. Now, uh, again, I played a little too conservatively. Uh, you take these little notes down when it's not as important right here. Um, we could have gotten a little closer to the rough there which would have helped us get further up on our second shot with the big dog. And again, this is where I would use at least a power two ball, in my opinion, because as you can see with the Marlin, which has power zero, we have quite a bit of fairway. But again, with a lower level big dog, well, probably a mid-level big dog, it's still a sloppy shot. If you hit it great, you can end up in the rough. So you need to be very careful, and that's what I'm doing. I'm approaching with caution. I was hoping to get a little bit more of a roll, um, but you know what? Overall, I'm pretty happy with that sh uh, shot, although it takes us out of contention, um, you know, to drop it in the hole. Not many people will be getting it in the hole here, regardless. So you got to keep in mind, you still want it to roll some, even from here. And now moving it in, because I know using full curl, it's going to kick the ball out to the left. That's why the ball guide looked like it was going to hit. As long as you use full curl, you'll bend around, but we still don't get as close as I would like. However, it is a very makeable shot. And I am showing all putts for this very reason. Um, you know, no matter how good you are at the game, occasionally you're not going to get that perfect shot. There was no lag. There's no one to blame but myself. So the closer you get to the hole, the less often that's going to happen. Next hole, I definitely recommend the Guardian. I like the large amount of backspin. Sorry for the dogs. I need a studio. <laughs> I really do. Uh, you're also going over a large body of water. I believe there was a large. Did they change that? I don't see the water. Maybe they're not going over. I don't know. 
add 10 percent add more than 10 percent because look how far we ended up right of the hole this here is an easy putt that was made so i'm not going to show the putt and on our next hole here, uh, I, I used to love this uh, particular one. Full right spin, full top spin. Uh, be careful not to hit it great on the right. Full right curl. You could overpower it a little if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it, uh, you know, unless you, you're using like a quarterback, a higher level quarterback or something because the ball guides aren't that great. Actually, seeing where I ended up, uh, this was actually a perfect shot. A little more curl or a little more side spin would have done wonders. And again, it's a guardian hole, and this is why. This is at max distance with full backspin, and we get a much better result here. I'm adjusting for the wind here without the rings, but as you can see, we're going to get a friendly bounce in quite a few different areas. Uh, it's it's kind of like it's not a flat spot, um, but, you know, the more you adjust to the left, it still ends up going pretty close to the hole. So it's a very safe shot. Definitely great proofed. And we have a very easy putt here to finish up. And that was it. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial on Rookie, Marlin Ball only. Have a wonderful day.